Okay, time for Vampire Survivor Beswick 302. We got Ziasunta leading Toasty, Random, and your Rune Tan into the Inlaid Library. Let's get Inlaid Library done. Only seven runs to do. This is really a very bad idea, considering I just checked. I gotta do ten on certain stages. So, those are getting divided in half. Yeah, I think seven's about the limit I can reasonably accept. God, that's already over two hours of Vampire Survivors. Oh, this was a dumb idea. I should have taken it out, but I wanted to finish this as soon as possible at this point. So I won't divide them in two. You'll get a Vampire Survivors video that's longer than any time person should be playing Vampire Survivors. And I will be following up a nine hour stream. Nine and a half hour stream. With then recording. Uh, two, four, five. Five, six. Good god, yeah. Five hours of recording video. Vampire Survivors video. Back to back to back. Good grief. And then a marathon of 11 hour stream. Uh, ended shortly before this. I will not be watching this as a post. I will be asleep, because I will get like five hours of sleep before I have to go on a 11 hour marathon. I am not very intelligent. Yeah, what am I even going to eat? Nothing. Nothing sounds right. Well, anyway, uh, listening to Matar Khan, still play Space Marine 2. She's getting real close to the end. She's in the grips of Demarium, looking for lose. Listen to Data Slates. Winning. Uh, look, I've got 300 episodes in. There's very little to talk about Vampire Survivors wise, other than some random nonsense. Not like there's much going on at this point. Most characters aren't that different. This isn't like Kolok here. We're right. Every run can be some sort of different nonsense. Who do you like to watch outside your channel? Well, I like most whole. Hey, it's plenty embarrassing watching me play video games. Because I'm bad. Um, what? But I'm not partnered, so you can't time me out. Ha ha! Who would time out Iron Mouse? What a jerk. Man. I'm running low on health here, aren't I? Oh, this is a sort of a random assortment of characters. Good grief. You got Party Popper? No wonder. God. Pento Sacro is so bad. Such a weapon that you don't want to deal with. Oh man, I'm definitely going to have to... Getting big and bad. Oh, the Moomies don't have anything to do with. Woo! Empty Tome. Right. She's got her Plasma Pills. She's got her Malta. She'll be taking it on. No melt bomb. Is the melt bomb even in campaign? Huh. All of our ops. How deep do these tunnels go? Getting close. Man. Ah, oh, I forgot how long the run was. Mostly because I've been sort of barely paying attention to a lot of things. You know that interview question you sort of get sometimes, like, where do you see yourself in five years? And like, dude, I don't see where I am in five hours, much less five years. Well, let me know, she clearly say, oh, I should see myself at this company, running a store, blah, blah, blah. No. No. I wish I studied the blade. Oh, man. Ugh. My throat is a-feeling it. All this talking so recently. It makes it really weird how I was able to do it for so, so many months. Constantly talking for so many months. Oh, she never finished bolt gun. I wish you were kissing girls too, Matarakon. I had some hurts. I think it's like the last group before 
gets her to lose. Yay! Here we go, more duplicator. All right, I got a lot of frontal pressure. That's good. Yeah, it's really hard to press in. Well, Toasty's not quite there, 40% of the way to Toasty becoming unstoppable. Woo, Vulgen. We're doing it. We are doing it. Ah, that chest freeze really helps out the glass Vodongo. Nothing for Bolero on Arcana wise. That's unfortunate. We got right. Whoa, I didn't see that stalker till way too late. Oh man, that's bad. It's always bad when stalker shows up, but this is especially bad. My health is quite pathetic at the moment. At the very least, I can charge through like nothing else. Oh, hey, how did that happen? Where did that Aura Logan come from? Oh, neat. Cl Celestial Vulgen. Hmm. You aren't going to see that often, the Vulge firing off without the... Uh, Zodiac Blast, Celestial Storm, whatever it's called. And teleport. Terminators. He's getting close to finish off them. Chaos, boys. No. Why would you do that to poor Zotar? Good grief. Stalker and Drowner and an eyeball. And an ad. Go figure. And I don't have the time to pause it in order to do it. Okay, good. Oh, she's been band chat again. Loving days, bye bye, Zentrea. Hey, there's my Celestial Storm. Or a Zodiac Blast, whatever it's going to be called. Okay, then they are sign old sanctuary finally to fix this. I could switch to other characters, I just don't want to. I'm tired. I'm so tired. Yeah, I'm gonna be mainlining salt water like mad tomorrow. And today. In fact, every time between sections here, I should have done like moon glow instead. At least that would have been quick. But no. No. Yeah, this is going to be so bad. Uh, the other option would have been basically just recopy the fifth wave, but at least this is different. Right? Right? It's worth it, isn't it? Isn't it? Please tell me it's worth it. Please tell me all my work hasn't been for nothing. Give me those sweet, sweet subscriptions, likes, dislikes, comments, and subscribes. I need everything. Please. Oh my god. God, I just keep laughing like a jackalope whenever I do this. God, I just feel so weird, even as I got slicker with the ending section. I just have to stop it so quickly just so I don't laugh at myself for being shill like that. Terminator. Yeah, I think this is the last group for big ol' losing. Yeah, but you're never going to hit the Medicaid after she changed where it was. He binded to. Perry, Perry, dodge. Yay. Wait, you could practice the card effects in campaign. Yeah, there's that boss fights with them. 
Can't practice the Hive Tyrant, though. That's... that's... no. 11k subs, huh. Especially incredible what matches the top of which what versus the top of YouTube is. So very much. Also, I randomly decided to look up what Matara's height is, and yep, she's pretty tall. 5'11". That's uh, pretty dang tall. So apparently Kason is 6'3", which is absurd. Also, that can't be right, considering... Oh, hey, a Candle Labrador. Uh, Toasty, let's go grab your Candle Labrador. Pathetic man of machine, your pathetic bug machine, Matarakon. Vulgen. Wait, is it or only Aura Logan that pops it, or does any freeze? That oh, Toasty's gone super mode. Shatter Aurora. Shatter your pitiful everything. Alright, I can actually move now. Anything over here? Nope. Just victory. Necron! Tomb World! We win! No Necrons. Heck, what's even the last game the Necrons are in? It's on a war, isn't it? Necrons, or a thousand sons, but you've been fights funds all the time. I really didn't realize what they were digging up. But I didn't realize what was going on eventually. I wonder if she'll be able to recognize it on site. A burial world? Over a tomb world. Hey, Chesto. Uh, yes, sure, let's get slashed. That actually boasts up the Svulge, doesn't it? Ooh. That's a pretty beady tomb world. It also explains why there's... No, you know, Tyranids over here. Tyranids do not want to go to Necron stuff at all. I am the main character of 4 armor 40k. Has there even been any Necron stories? Aside from like Cody sentries. Oh well. We'll learn, or we won't. Okay, so that was. Well, those chests don't. Well, no, they still freeze. Bad. Sonic 199. You know what? Who what? Do I remember this section? What? What is going on? This is weird. Oh. I don't remember what's going on there. Man, I'm tired. Well, hopefully I'll knock out instantly. Ah, oh, man, this should have been re started recorded, like, way earlier, but the controller was running out of charge. And I should be going to sleep right now. Yay, delicious, delicious sleep, but I gotta stay up for... God. Like, two more hours after this, which means I should technically be eating again. Huh. But no, I won't. The infinite. Horizon Necron Yeah Armor Not shield Somehow Yeah I suggest heresy sergeant 
Oh, yeah. No, he didn't. Yeah. No, he didn't. And Mura was faking Gadriel. Suggests heresy. Heresy. Oh, so close to the end. Ooh, and a bulging. Is he a Santa? The Santa win it for me. What's real? What's fake? Living in fantasy. Left in the limelight. No hope for reality. Easy come, easy go. Little high, little low. I was born a poor man. Nobody loves me. Yeah, even the chest freeze doesn't act, but it's only the War Logan. Oh, hey, Clover. Alright, she's getting ever closer. That will be for next section, because she's not going to lose here. Go, lose, go! You can do it, lose. And yeah, the whole thing is worth the risk. Zangor! I love you, Zangor, I love you. Oh, he totally got BFC. That's... Well, if any of Slaanesh's units look remotely nice. I don't think Slash gets, like, any rep in games. They get best it gets the uh, noise marines in Dawn of War too. No Slanesh Lord, no Slanesh tank. No Slanesh a lot of things. Uh 5.5 on the bulge. 6 14. There we go. More messing around. More vampire survivors. More Matarakan. She's getting ever and closer, closer to the end of the game. We got Bat Robert, Santa Ladonna, Space Student, Myong, Moonspell taking out the Inline Library right now. One more down. Add on Vantara's VOD video. Oh my god, there are so many ads, it is crazy. I know I just keep talking about ad, 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 ad. But good grief, there's so many. Oh. The funny thing is, despite being up super late in order to actually record this, it is going to be recorded, one of the earliest videos yet. That means the video after it's going to be awful. Ugh. Oh man, that's so many of them right away. That's great. And I just skipped over... Well, Boogaloo, early. That'll protect me. I mean, I don't think... It, well, you know, big bats. Big bats are fine. Big Paco Batlier and Amazo Familiar. Paco Batlier. Uh, I can't believe I keep getting that wrong. Woo. Let's grab some more experience gems. Uh, she's just killing things. Not much to talk about. But she is so close. So close. It is fun breaking out the nice sparkly fun of the pinata of that. It's the Rubicay. Chaos Space Marine. Also, I'm gargling water and gargling salt water in between each of these because my voice is a feeling it. It's going to be even worse tomorrow. Man, is it going to be bad. Uh, that's what waking up so many problems, not getting the Jolly Ranger and I need. Oh well, this is the fate I have chosen for myself with my poor, poor habits. Like so many other people. I miss having a schedule where I woke up on time. I gotta... I need to fix this next week. Well, everything is just wretched right now. Completely messing up everything I got set up. It's real bad. It's really bad. But maybe it gets better. Might finally get in contact with someone to get some consistent income. Can't. 
bizarre for a study. Well, yeah, you gotta understand the Xeno to kill the Xeno. Also, frankly, Terrazan, the infinite of the Necrons, is sort of, you know, trying to, you know, stop chaos, so that helps. Chaos! Yeah, one of the things about 40k, about the shakeup of the system with ghoul men and stuff, is about how it's focusing on chaos, the main, the biggest threat, the most dangerous threat, and like, yeah, of course it is. They were never going to have Tyranids do it because you can't write novels about Tyranid characters because there are none. And you can have a fun orc book, but, you know, people will be accepting orcs winning, but, you know, it's always been centered upon the Imperium and Chaos. So of course, it's going to be Chaos. That's the big super mega threat. That's destroying the galaxy. Even if the Tyranids have destroyed another galaxy, or on their run from something else. Phew, phew, phew. Uh, there's always that fun short story about what the Tyranids are running from are one of the missing Primarchs. It was so fun. Boy, with that completely up in the state if one of the missing Primarchs came out, driving the Tyranids out. Hilarious. That end the setting real quick. And again, everything's supposed to end the setting real dang quick. She's getting closer. She's gonna find them paralyzed Rubik's right now. Ooh. Hey, they aren't fully here. They're just here. That one spoiled it for her, so that's neat. Spoilers. Spoilers for everyone. Shoot them all. Blast them all. Da -da -da -da. Orcs. Chaos. Chaos undivided. Also known as the Lamos who can't take a side. What? Ooh. Wait, what? Oh, weapon pickup down there. That's odd. Huh. That's a couple tomes. Maybe Mad Groove. A couple empty tomes, so I guess they're less empty and more. A couple tomes. Add. God, I think this is already the second add on this section. Oh, someone did spoil f Chaos showing up for her. Chaos! It is entirely just a weird gimmick based on 8-bit theater, that's why I'm doing it. Chaos! Shows up at the end and just sort of shouts his name a lot in a weird fashion that I always thought of as Chaos! So it's an in-joke that I and only the two people that are going to watch this far are going to get. Also, she's talking about making streamers feel bad. But what if I'm a jerk, huh? What if I revel in the suffering and misery of others? Wait, it's still Paco Batley instead of Mazo Familiar? Jeez. I'm not getting levels very quickly. Most of the characters for... ...this are... Wait, were Thousand Sons on the trailers? I don't remember seeing any. Whatever. Magnus the Red. The Red Magnus. Throw them all! Throw- oh, hey, hi, BSC now. Well, it's not BSC yet, it's Blade Crossbow. Then it'll become Blade BSC. Three chests, one of them's Arcana. Vultures? How do you even know what a Vulture is, Gadriel? They've been extinct for longer than the... Ethereum's been alive. Or something. Also familiar? Jeez. You weren't even at Nakia. You were an ultramarine. Thousand Sons are a pronk. 
I like everyone, they're just arrogant pronks. There are loyalist descendants of heretic legions. The Blood Ravens of the Darn War series are descended from the Thousand Thuns, loyalist Thousand Sons. Or so it is. Uh, the Grey Knights are Lunar Wolves. Well, the original ones were Grey Wolves, or Lunar Wolves, Sons of Horus. And there's other ones that just sort of out and about. They're not as... Um, how to say it? In the consciousness, the way the Blood Ravens or Grey Knights are. Grey Knights got their own codex or whatnot. Cancel on Ikea is when the Imperium decided, nah, Psyker is bad. And then it was like, bring the Psyker to glory and Magnus didn't want to do it. And then Horus did nonsense and blah blah blah. And thus evil was maintained. Clearly they should just kick them all out of legions. I made it a chapter, hoo hoo. Space Wolves, the ex, the Empire's executioners. Lehman Ross annihilated everyone when he first came out. It wasn't even close, he was like the single strongest duelist in the entire game. Magnus the Red is the Primarch of the Thousand Sons. You got it right, Matarakhan. You got it right. Uh, there were re-release of the rules for the Primarchs, apparently. And Magnus actually now loses to Horus and, like, one other character, one other Primarch. I think, actually, Ferris and Magnus beats him. Funny, considering he's one of the only ones that died. Hey, a candy box. Boop, boop, boop. Send another ad. That's just another ad. Jesus. Oh, there's a life sign scan. What even is this? Oh, it's an out shadow ring. Shadow Lear tree. Yeah, it's Shadow Lear tree. I don't need an ad for that. I can't use an ad for that. I literally have it streamed on my channel, YouTube. Why are you giving me an ad for it? Crazy. There's also a uh, alternate what if story with the uh, heresy just flipped who did what. Agnes follows Siege. Uh, anyway, there's an alternate history story, fan fiction about if the legions were switched, and Magnus is one of the two ones uh, that are still loyal. He's a loyalist Primarch in that one. He's active, which makes the setting. This was before Gloomman came back. It means the setting is a bit more dangerous in some circumstances. But also having Primarchs, because also Alpharius is out there doing stuff. But, whatever. Oh, that's a thing I know. And granted, this was also before a lot of revelations about the nonsense going on with Alpharius. Which I keep hinting about, because it's Really confusing. It's intentionally confusing. The point that everyone is confused. If he's even dead or not. In fact, I don't know, maybe I'll have enough time to do it. Uh, actually, no, I'll talk about it for the start of the next video because it's very long and confusing and convulted. It has to do with about more historiography and where things came. Yeah, go figure. And bye bye mini ghost. I don't know why it steals it to do it. That's annoying. But there it is. Well, I shouldn't have gotten that till I could have grabbed it. Well, not that it matters at this point, but still. No, wait, I should just sit here, put my controllers down, and relax. Let's 
You know, it's always an idea I had of like doing sort of like a historiography of, like, of things. Like not just what the current lore is about how it's evolved over time. In sort of how... Uh, my first idea would be like Sargeras from Warcraft. About starting out with like how he's, oh, the Dark Titan. Who created the Burning Legion and it would be like a record scratch. Nope, not this. He was a demon lord when he first came out. This is the historiography of Sargeras throughout the world of Warcraft. From his humble beginnings as no one in world of war in Warcraft at all. To uh, just a demon lord. To being the greatest antithesis of life outside of the guy who's literally death. The guy whose death sucks. So we'd prefer Sargeras. Yeah, it's honestly kind of funny because like... Oh, the original Warcraft only has so few named characters. And one of them is Grok, and nobody knows who Grok is. Heck, Aegwyn doesn't even get named there. She doesn't get named until the second book. She shows up, she speaks, she's important. But she isn't named. She's just a woman. Heck, even... Uh, Lane's father doesn't get named. I don't even think he still is named, just due to the weird nature of the retcons. Uh... Chest, 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 Man, this is so long. I think she's... Oh my god, there's another ad already. What? How? They had to have... Dang it. I don't have the time to waste on the controllers being disconnected. We're on YouTube, not loading the video correctly. Okay, just skip like another half hour. Man. Women in their bathrooms, am I right? She didn't even wash her hands. The gross bug woman. No. Here we go. Destroy all them thousand marines. Or thousand sons. Rubric A marines. What the heck is that shooting? Like, she was dead aim with the reticle. Well, those plasma shots were going a million miles away. Bat. Bats everywhere. It's like I'm Bat Robert or something. Alright, I need clover. Oh, so more. One more minute. One more minute. And I'm two out of seven. Yep, two out of seven. Boy, that's a uh, wait. Why are you, who's getting healed that much? Why is someone getting healed that much? Is Mion getting healed? Why is Mion getting healed for so much? Oh, right, because she has that weird thing with her health regen, isn't she? No, oh, right on to the loose cutscene. Have to end this. Well, that's a good stopping part. I'll get the cutscene with Luz on to Miriam next. Right now, it's test time to end this section. Once more with me on. Okay, so the battery, the controller didn't charge out. Really, only the controller I was normally use, my prime controller, my player one controller that ran out, because I'd used it up four hours on Space Marine. And I used this one on the charging station, which is terrible. Absolutely terrible. 5395, 58. 58? Jeez. 3 mil. 
Ryu 2 continues with Mania Moon Spell. The Moonlight Bolero, Baviona, Makoyonia, and Megalos Yota Moon Spell. Wow, this team is almost like it's gonna win. Because most of the Vampire Survivors teams just win. Never could have seen that. Anyway, uh, in the background, Matarakan playing Warhammer 42. Uh, Warhammer 42, eh? If only. Well, it's the 42nd century. Oh, it isn't. 42nd thousandth century. Oh, megaloform. Uh, anyway, watching Matara Khan play Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. She's getting close to the end. She's on the final planet, about to get to the big cutscene after the first very, very, very long mission. Coupled with ad breaks every like five seconds from YouTube being awful. And her going on break or doing chat and stuff for quite a lot. Hey, go Sluz, save us with Project Aurora. Hello, Luz. Praise the Omnisire. No fake Luz. If only he hadn't switched the alignment. Worst. Actually, I don't think you have. Yeah, it was kind of annoying on Gryia, but what uh, the bolt gun guy did through, because bolt gun takes place on Gryia involving the same set of stuff, oddly enough. No, lose. You were such a good guy. And then he wins. Forgive me, Lord. I mean, our intentions were always pure. You just got bamboozled, Luz. Just got bamboozled. Hey. Enough tiny grains of sand make a desert. Emura. Hey, there's my chesto. Should totally... Grab other characters, grab chess. Controllers are getting cold and I need to move them occasionally so that they don't, you know, bips out. Useless against the power of the Necron Pylon. Hell, Brute. Sweet. Uh, maybe it's just the ping in operations making me worse. I don't remember having that much trouble in it with campaign. Oh my god, another ad. Why, sure, I'd love to be an undercover welder. Why? <laughs> Why? Why was that advertised to me? I mean, I do like swimming, and it's gotta pay extraordinarily well. And well... Well, no, I'm not near the coast. I'm not exactly in... The circumstances to be... I mean, it's not that far. Uh, well... I mean, I've done worse jobs than undersea welding, I guess. God, am I tired of diving in dumpsters. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, there's just something about... Animations. Man, it's so many science rocks. Why the heck is Bobby Ona stuff popping out like that? Is she like fake stuck? That shouldn't be happening. Hmm. Yeah, she's not cycling between flames and misspell either. This is weird. 
It's not how her ability is supposed to work. She's only supposed to... Like, if I switch her to flames... Yeah, she'll keep firing out flames. She doesn't seem to be working correctly in multiplayer at all. This is... or... Uh... ha ha ha. Okay. Hmm. It... I think the spawner, the spawning of them isn't tied into Bobby Ona herself, it's tied into any movement. It's not something I really could have noticed. But if you get her stuck on the right pose, you can cause it to spawn in like this by having someone else move. Uh, no, that is she. Okay, that's really weird. Dunk. Okay, I need to remember which controller she's at. This is so strange. Kind of strange, strange circumstance. Oh, she beat the Hellbrute. Nice. And so many chests to grab. Didn't even go down. Yeah, I never saw a single parry sign. Wait, maybe it's something to go with the transformation effect from Megalo. I mean, that would make sense. It's that what causes that weird nothing spawns in thing with Sapphire Mist. Yep. I didn't know Albert didn't have non-melee parry. If I had known that, I might have tried it, but... Use the neck on pylon. Wait, no. Do I have sapphire ma Yeah, I do. Okay, nothing spawned in. That's... Oh, well. Um... That was an accident. Of alignment. Now it's all chaos. Chaos! What genius. Oopsie. Chaos everything. Now, I did the stream uh, about this part. I thought it was the Black Library he was talking about. A repository of knowledge. That... The Thousand Sons have been trying to desperately get into. Which I sort of got confused with Zeech's own uh, chaos domain. Black Library is a webway thing. God, another freaking ad. No, Luz, you were my best friend. And thus... Uh, yeah, I'm probably just gonna cut this out to the end, because there's... Well, I don't know. It's much easier if I just leave it in. Hmm. Wait, no, these have to be real, because bosses and eyeballs are on a different timer. Yeah, yeah, I can still push him, then. 
Okay, it's dead. It doesn't seem to have dropped its chest, though. Yeah, the lack of chests is what's annoying. He didn't want to take control. He wanted to just expand the pilot network to try and stop the spirit thing. Luzik or Nozick probably would have noticed something was off. Hmm, if I push them out and back in. Okay, so they're getting it again. A pawn. Is it any time I move or? Oh well. All right, I wanted to talk about Alpharius, didn't I? Well, that was easy. To well, Alpharius, Primarch of the Twentieth Legion, the Alpha Legion. Also, he has a twin, Omegon. Was this intended? Was this accidental? Did the Empire ever know? Did they ever know? Well, those two know. Back in the old days, there was just Alpharius. Uh, eventually, they created Omegon. There's a bunch of stories about what's going on with the Alpha Legion, because they were the Infiltrator Legion. They wanted to do convulted, ridiculous plans to subvert worlds. Do a bunch of sneaky, sneaky stuff. Uh, once upon a time, uh, he was the last... Alpharius was the last one found, or was it Omegon? Uh, found by Horus after he led a raiding party on a planet. Uh, nearly on the crusade. And no one quite knows why. He didn't get along with some of the loyalists. Got along with some of the chaos. But he... Uh, Alpha Legion eventually joined up with uh, chaos stuff. And helped them try and take over the galaxy. Launching covert raids. Breaking out specific things. Or was it? Because deep down, Alpharius was approached by a group calling itself the Cabals. About how... Chaos! If Horus won, it would result in chaos being destroyed. But if the Imperium won, it would result in horrible gears. Is Alpharius loyal? Is Omegon loyal? Is either loyal? Is either dead? After the war, they were hunted down by Dorn Oiler the Royalists. They were defeated. But one was killed, or was one not? Everyone is confused. And then comes the biggest twist of them all. Alpharius was not the last one found. He was the first. Even before Horus, he was on Terra or even Luna or Mars. Specifically kept away from everyone. Everyone. He just blended in with other legions because Alpharius was short. Another bloody commercial. So many bloody ones. Awful. Uh, so anyway, Alpharius, secretly the first one found, brought up by the Emperor himself before any others were found. Kept a secret, kept in with a... only a handful of people knew it. Designed for one super purses. To make sure that the Imperium survives no matter what. Eventually he finds Omegon. And then all those secret fights, all those sabotage things instead... Supported the Imperium by making sure that they were prepared for Horus' eventual attacks. And eventually, the Legion itself split, or did it. With Omegon actually going over to Chaos. And Alpharius still out there, alive. Saying Alpharius to people and making them freak out that a Primarch is here. And that's it till well the horse here says the book series has ended. 
And the stormy stuff is coming. So will the truth be revealed or not? And far more importantly, why is the Alpha Legion, the Sneaky Legion, the blunt-headed idiots of Dawn of War 2? Dawn of War. All the Chaos dudes in Dawn of War and Dawn of War 2 are Alpha Legion for some reason. That's very confusing and nonsensical. Because they just want fisting. Then again, they could just be getting rid of the blunt-minded idiots. The Cindery did it well enough. Ah, almost the end. That ended up being not remotely as long as I thought. Oh, three out of four done. Three out of seven done. Good God, this was a bad idea. But that's what uh, all this is about. Nothing but bad idea after bad idea after bad idea after bad idea. Nine, 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 nine doors. Fifty-five, fifty-five. Oh wait, does death get perma frozen like this too? Yeah, look at all them eyeballs. Goodbye. Oh yeah, stats. Uh, four million forty-nine. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, not a surprise. Oh God, it's Sammy time with the Moonlight Blair, Rotten Ghoul, Horse, and Mego Impostorina. Oh, well, it's Sammy, so I don't really need to do anything. Uh, so in the background, it's gonna be more watching Matarkan of V Shoujo. Hey, Warhammer 40k, Space Marine 2. He's on the final planet, getting close to the end of the game. Seen the bad guy's ultimate plan, and is wandering through the after effects of that plan. Whole oh, bunch of shocked and scared Cadian shock troops. Save them, Commissar, save them. Alright, remember, survivors should be no trouble. Oh, yeah, of course, you get big. Eyeball. Huh. Nine, nine, nine. Nine hours, nine doors, nine days. No. Nine, nine, nine. I, I know it's nine hours, nine doors. What's the other one? Nine minutes? Nine hours, nine minutes, nine seconds? That doesn't make sense. Well, that's just six. Nurgle, seven. Corn is eight. And Zeech is nine. Yep, it's what their their big bad beat sticks for the apocalypse game mode were. Their special numbers. Ooh, real Cadians. Fight to the end, Cadians. But let's hope that doesn't happen. It will happen. I haven't seen anyone save these dudes. I've seen at least one person see the Cadians in the jungle next to the Ravener. Uh, Scarlet Flameheart managed that. But anyone else? No. Not myself, not Matara, not Ko, not Kali, Ope, Mori, or Bijou Koseki. Oh, and Matar didn't save them either. It was only Scarlet. They will not be playing any... Uh, wait, what is today? Oh, time has lost all meaning when you cross over midnight, doesn't it? Uh. Oh, they aren't even that stronger. Oh, so there aren't even that many Zeech things, it's just... Heck, there's only Rubrics and Zangors. I mean, there's no Horrors or Flamers. Break the eyeball. Stab it with a knife. 
I'll stop it. I'm trying to avoid having Sammy cost too much lag with Sammy levels, but boy, is it hard. No, lose is not a loser. He was the hero we needed. My eyeballs are better. Oh, yeah. Flyers, dudes, things that you don't ever actually fight. Dinched. Sneached. Eyeball. Meet knife. Knife, meet eyeball. How are they getting disconnected? Like, none of them have... Uh, yeah, that's full charge. Full charge. Full charge. Screamer. Oh, fire. Screamer. Same thing. I, I really don't know. This is my first introduction to Zangors. Also why I thought those Cerber K Marines were with flamers were flamers each because I didn't know what they actually looked like. Still don't know what equipment charge means in Marine 2. I need to try and lab that out, but that doesn't seem to make any sense. You're all up there, Space Marine. Mori Calliope has gone down that hole. Oh, it's actually kind of funny. We're seeing some fan art of Space Marine Morian. Space Marine Bijo. And I was just browsing through elsewhere and I saw some f even older fan art of Space Shark Gura. Oh, that was amazing. And I forgot to mention that when I was streaming Space Marine 2, uh, however many days ago this is, time has lost all meaning. Help me, help me, help me. Hey, Sarkana. No one has... I need to go replay that just so I can listen to her uh, whole speech. How the heck are you putting pressure on that table, Archeron? Uh oh. Hey, there's my Sun Ult Sanctuary. Not getting Game Killer, not getting Rondo. I don't even need Rondo, apparently. There we go. Bloody Terror. Man. Oh, it's so bad. I've got three, three stages that are requiring ten. That's over a three-hour video to record. Wait, are they taking the experience gems too? I didn't know they could do that. Can they do that, or is that Sammy specific? Huh. No. I think it was just kills without reason. But if they can use someone... They're not going to kill Calgar. What is the price of betrayal? Victory. I want double my eyes. Yeah. Oh. I mean, the all guardsman party was recruited after fighting heretics and not. Well, no, they weren't. It was orcs. Traitors, but not heretics, just traitors, and then Tyranids. Let's see, and then they eventually fought Chaos Space Marines and actual heretics. In fact, heretics were their first goal, just no Space Marines there. I think, yeah, like Chaos Space Marines. Uh, demons, demons, demons. Do they fight actual demons? Demon host counts, right? Uh, but okay. All the factions. Uh, guard. Yes. 
in its own strange way. Space Marines. No, they haven't fought any Space Marines. They sure came close, though. Uh, Inquisition, they fought. Chaos and Heretics, they fought. Chaos Space Marines, they fought. Tau, they fought. Necrons, Tyranids, Orcs. Regular Raiders. Uh, fought Elder. They haven't fought Dark Elder. That's like sort of it of the major factions they haven't fought. Yeah, yep, yep, I think that's about it. I guess they haven't fought like Chaos Knights, but that seems sort of out of hand, and also you'd sort of just lump that into Chaos anyway. Heck, I think when the campaign was ran, the Night Houses didn't even really exist. Yeah, that's, that's about it. They fought everything, basically everything. They can fight. Killed everything that they mostly could. Uh, in fact, they fought things that would make anyone else a nonsensical. Because, good God, I don't even want to spoil it, but... Because all Guardsmen Party and Guy Carl Grendel, they just fought way more ridiculous things than what actually occurred in Space Marine 2. It's just that absurd what they go through. <laughs> I will burn this place. Hey, a candy box. I'll just take a magic wand. I mean, I could have gotten cats. Should I have gotten cats? Nah, I, I mean, there's enough of a limit. I'm 318 minutes in. What? No, chaos, no sexy. Stop being like that, Matara. They're in operations. Alright, over halfway through. Oh god, no. Huh, yeah. Yeah, in the main campaign, the Nids don't really fight chaos, do they? It's only in operations. Only the one operations. Oh. Guard! Glorious Imperial Guard, not the Astromitilium jerks. Chaos. Chaos! You didn't kill the Hive Tyrant, you killed the Cardifex! Hive Tyrant was taken out by Tolasa. Don't shoot into the Moino spray. Go, charge! A lot of one-way things. Also, all the guards were during that section are actually invincible. I saw them get shot plenty and just survive. Last fusil! Fusil. Break everything. multi melta Banner scene, or...? Nope. Chaos first. That sorcerer. Some flaming dudes. The witch. What? No. What? No. The worst fight was the Ripper stuff. Stop lying to her chat. This fight is not the worst fight. It can't be the worst fight. Yeah, I don't think Chaos... CHAOS! ...in the Tyranids fighting campaign at all. It's it reserved entirely for the third ops mission. But they will both put that aside to go fight you. Uh, 
I sure hope I caught it on stream that time I ran into... Here it is in the final chaos room. Oh. Uh, quite easy to go look it up. I agree. This could be so much worse. Sammy is ridiculous. <laughs> Actually, what is the enemy required for Space Marine 2? There's Hormagaunt, Termagaunt, Bone Sword Warrior, Whip Warrior, uh, Devour Warrior, Venom Cannon, or, uh, Zone Throat, Ravener, Lictor, I guess Lictor Alpha, Carnifex, Neurothrope, I have Tyrant, so that's 12 or 13. Or Tyranids. And for Chaos. It's, oh, Spore Mine, so 13, 14. All right, for, and then for Chaos, it's Heretic, Zangor, Rube K, Inferno, Rube K, Flamer. That's weird. Then it's, I guess, Heretic Sniper, unless they're all... Well, Last Gun Heretic, Auto Gun Heretic. I don't know if all Last Gun Heretics can snipe. And then Sorcerer, Hellbrute, uh, Missile Terminator, and then Auto Cannon Terminator. That's eight. About 20 ish, over 20 ish, maybe 25 ish. Plus some more. That's a decent amount of enemy variety. Uh, I mean, basic old Halo had. Four colonets and then three bloodies. There wasn't really much of a difference between the covenant combat flood and human flood in the first one, other than appearance. I guess at best you would say four. Oh, and of course, Sentinel, so that's still not great. Though so it's. It wasn't until like Halo Infinite where that color coordination really had a bigger effect. It's like the color, you know, it always just sort of indicated stronger, better, maybe different equipment. A zealot would always have certain setups in Exterm and Combat Evolved and whatnot. Banner scene, woo, right at the end. Well, I'll save that for the next one. That's the end of this section. Sammy is obviously going to outpower everyone because it's Sammy time. It's always Sammy time. Oh, right. Mini horse, horse is a bonus, isn't it? 40.6, 2.6, 14.7, and 7. Go, Sammy. Ah, the inlay library again. We got some Bill Riser, Moonlight Bolero, Ariana Spreadgun, Lucia Zero, and Brad Pag. Oh yeah, Brad Fang. And in the background, Matar Khan has gotten to the banner scene in Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. Shoot some stuff. And I've completely lost track of what I was actually talking about and all that. Uh, Halo? Yes, Halo. Uh, rank differential. Okay, so... I'll all right, well... Well, just because this is sceney stuff. Then once she gets to more combat-y stuff and random stuff, I'll go back to Halo. Woo! Banner scene, banner scene, banner scene, go! Use that little pistol. Reload with one harm, somehow. Magically. I mean, you could always ride your motorcycle shortless. Yes, probably get pulled over for indecent exposure. Oh, it's also kind of funny, guys. Oh, I think it's Luna, maybe it's Nene, of Whole Alive Japan. It has a Harley Davidson motorcycle. That's just crazy cool. Especially for someone who's only like five feet tall. Uh. Charon! Beat that Hellbrook, Charon. It's looking plenty spicy, but not good. Not good. 
Let's shoot them. Original portrait of Warhammer. Thunderhawken. Saved by Manus Kalgar himself. No, it's not. He's not 80 feet tall. No. No. Blue man looks perfectly normal. And the Victor Scar dude kills one Zangor. Oh, hey. Briefing. Okay, uh, so back into Halo talk. Halo has a limited enemy selection, but the enemies have different ranks, and different ranks have different equipment. They have different AI or different strength. It's a palette swap. Sometimes this doesn't make much of an effect. Why did I not re-roll? Oh, uh, that's fine. And the first game, the difference between, like, the Elite Minor and the Elite Major was just stat boosts. It was slightly different for the upper three ranks. Well, not really. And that the third rank was... Silver or light blue or something. And it was a Stealth Elite. Uh, the fourth one, Spec Ops Black. That one is just... Beefier while throwing grenades. Have access to different equipment. And then the uh, zealots, the top of the line ones, were always preset for everything. And had plasma swords, energy sword. And very specific weapon setups. This sort of, you know, they kept adding colors. Oh god. Wait, why did they give me reward points now? This is not 15 past the hour. And also, this isn't the hour it should be resetting anyway. That's very weird. Calgar speech, let's go. Crush them. Chaos heretics. 2,000 point army on the march, apparently. No joke, apparently someone counted in. The whole army in this scene is like... 2060 points when the usual army is 2000. Someone was really good at the details. And then the Lord of Change arrives. Who's worth more than the entire army. Or, er, well, no. But it's very perspective. That's a new dreadnought. The Lord of Change. And it's not Kairos. It's just a generic Lord of Change. I think it's Kairos. Yeah, knights are extraordinarily expensive for an army. I knew I recognized that on site. Alright, I can actually switch them to cover their weak sides. You know, dodge stuff. I just sort of forgot because I'm so used to the fifth wave stuff. Yeah, on the top end now. Goes the other end. Dreadnoughts are pretty speefy. Alright, so, uh... Ouch. Itchy, 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 itchy foot. Alright, so, uh... The ranks sort of, you know... Just, you know, indicate who is beefer, tougher. It rarely indicates some sort of speciality until we get to, actually... Halo Infinite, which was really good, because... It... Finally sort of settled the difference, because every individual, say, rank of a well, race actually fought differently now. Generally pretty subtly. Like, the minor elite was extraordinarily aggressive and infinite. It would charge you at basically all the points, never let you rest. Uh, the red elite, the major... It was more confident to flank. Well, the marshals and stuff, the higher ranks, were more willing to duel you out at range, uh, try and weaken you down with shooting, and then rush you down when you tried to get around corners. And sort of everything was like this, even the grunts. 
The high-ranking grunts actually had their own shields, which was a first in the series. The lower-ranked ones were still cowards, but the majors could occasionally rally, and so on. And of course, we got Jackal Snipers back. Oh god, Sniper Alley. Oh, well, that was an accident. Eh, beginning's not the worst. She's got multi melt doesn't she? No, that's regular melt the multi melt is on limit er is full clip. Really good for Boston. Avoid father, heavenly father. More water from Atara. Good grief, this is like her third time. Well, I'm drinking a ton of water too, so. Okay, skip ahead to her next coming back phase. A Guinness. Dick. Beer. Don't. Why are you drinking on camera? When you're streaming, that'll just dry you out and make your throat feel worse. At least drink something with some sugar in it, because sugar can help soothe your throat. Especially because you're doing this like all back to back, like nine hour streams. Well, not nine, like six and eight and six. Ooh, dudes. Don't cheese. Cheese is for corpsen. Bullets, bullets. God, I so ran out of so long to talk about. Let's talk about World of Warcraft again, or Warcraft again. The historiography of Sargeras, the Dark Titan. Nope, he wasn't. Warcraft Orcs and Humans. Sargeras did not exist. But in Warcraft Orcs and Humans, there were only like 18 characters and several of them were unnamed. And some of them got named and then got odd named, which is weird. Cleric of Northshire is weird. Because he was just the Cleric of Northshire in Orcs and Humans. Then he was a Nolus Fowl in 2 and 3. And it wasn't until that awful cycle... No, not cycle of hatred. Uh, the awful novelization of the Warcraft 2 that Nolus Fowl and the Cleric of Northshire were now two separate characters. Yeah, but that's neither here nor there. But yeah... Warcraft Orcs and Humans didn't have that many characters. It was uh, King Rin, King Lane Rin, Queen Valeria, Erica Northshire, Niels Aaron, Medivh, Egwin, who wasn't named, Lothor. That's it for the human side. Uh, over on the Orcs, there was Black Hand, uh, Griselda, Throck, Garona. Gork. So yeah, it's like maybe barely into double digits of characters. I'm not even sure if it's Grok and it might be Throck or something like that. And that's it. That's the named characters in the original Warcraft War of the Humans. And a good chunk of them, two of them aren't even named. Now Warcraft 2 is when everything changed. Oh, oh, we got multiple kingdoms, multiple names, even if they didn't really show up or do much. We got Sargeras for the first time. He was the demon lord who taught killed Jaden, who taught Gul'dan, who met up with Medivh. Hey, Halo. Whoa, Halo. This is relevant. And then, uh, the tomb was destroyed by Egwin. And then we got the novel of Blah... Last Guardian, where you see Aegwyn defeating the Avatar of Sargeras. Sargeras. God, it's Sargeras. Oh, what is that old thing? Oh, uh, I don't know. That fan animation with, you know, Blazer or whatnot. Oh, hey, Golden Finger. Or Machinima. Or World of Warcraft with Blazer and 
Uh, Ash Springer, Viting, Arthas, and whatever. They just kept calling it the Tome of Medivh, or Medivh, Medivh, but not Medivh, and it's like, you could go look up his name, how it's pronounced. YouTube exists at this point in time. The cutscenes are on there. His name is pronounced right. Like, I don't expect most people to pronounce Danath correctly, or Kul Tiras. But come on. Wait, did Bricky not play Halo 3? Oh no, the VOD for Halo 3. You know, I watched a clip show of her playing Halo 3 with Bricky, and there was no reaction to the flood section. It's just like weird. That's that's one of the biggest mind blows. Okay. She's really talking this up about getting completely mind blown by some in Halo 3. I gotta watch this. It's so weird. Hey, a chest. Hey, go to shuffle. Neat. Oh, and other people who keep pronouncing Taronda wrong. Even when they're playing the game where it said Taronda. It's not Taronde. It's never Taronde. It's weird saying it. Otherwise, I don't know why anyone does. It's never, ever been pronounced Taronde in any voice acted thing for Warcraft. Well, uh, speaking of name stuff, uh, this is, uh, well, probably something got posted on the video when he made it, but uh, I watch Giant Grant Games quite a bit, and he has a whole retrospective video about Warcraft 3, and he talks about how Malfurion is called Furion all the time in, you know, the game, and it's like, that's his name, and why do they change it to Malfurion and retcon it, and like, well, Malfurion was always his name. It's there in the manual. You can go check it out. He just always called Furion, and then people just keep calling him Malf afterwards, so and then his name got shifted from Furion to Malf. I never got Silent Old Sanctuary, did I? And that's it. That's what happened. Yeah. Everyone just kept calling him Mal or Malf or whatever, never Furion. Like, there's literally only one mention ever of him being Malfurion in the game, in, in Warcraft 3, and it's in the manual. That's his full name. Otherwise, it is always Furion. Or, I guess, brother for Illidan and Shondo or whatever. Storm Rage. Kind of funny. He's always presented as. The most powerful druid, but Keeper of the Druid is not a particularly upfront damage class in Warcraft 3. Oh, I've gone on so many different topic rants over the course of this nonsense. Oh, she's about to get to the second Hell Brute fight. That's about to end with poorly. Terminators first, though. So much easier to. Harry Tyranid Warriors. I've gotten pretty decent at it. Also because they only have like one unavoidable attack for warriors at all. I don't even think the ranged ones can do it while all the Rubikes can. Wait. Rubicon surgery. I mean I know it's Rubicon because crossing the Rubicon and Roman Legion stuff and Ultramarines sort of have that theme going on. But also, the Thousand Sun Marines are Rubicon Marines. And I suppose this is no weirder than Eldar having a Phoenix motif as does the Emperor's Children. The Emperor's Children, you know, keeping their name ever. At least with the world word bearers, it's obviously supposed to be Sparpy. And a dig in the eye. 
I mean, nothing's a bigger dig than the Holy Book of the Imperium being written by Lorgar. Oh, right, I need to move the others. Go, Brad Fang, go! You'll win this for me. Oh, my God. I knew this would take forever. I should have started early with that dang controller. He blew her. Yep, Halbert time. God, I am so empty on topics to talk about. I can't use more World of Warcraft out PvP. I might have to do it for another marathon video. Look, I have to sort of skip because there's nothing going on with the Omelis or the Invincible characters. The win is guaranteed. This was such a bad idea. But here we are, six out of seven. We got Sheena, Pro Protector, Stanley, and Newt. God, I wish Pro does more. Okay, Matar Khan in the background. Warhammer 40k, Space Marine 2. She's really close to the end. She's fighting a Halbert for the second time. For the second time. Because apparently if all the Battle Brothers go down, the game is over. Well, normal. I didn't know that. No, no advertiser ever has your best interests in mind. Why would you ever ask me that. There's no person on the planet who could ever possibly agree with that and not be some sort of moron. Hey, Prism Last. God, what an absolutely awful question. Why did it just knock me back like 20 seconds? More than that. It's like 20 seconds. Jeez. So far back. Like, I know occasionally when I get, like, screen savered for watching other videos, it'll pre-set it back a few minutes or a few seconds. Man, that's crazy. Oh, this was such a dumb idea, but I really wanted to make sure I got this out before. Why were they doing that? These weirdo ghosts. Through the fire and the flames we carry on! Da -da 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 -da. Remember, I can move them. They don't have to just stay still. I just don't want to. Wait, my... Oh, wait. Oh, garlic's from mini red, not... Wait, and where the heck is the... Oh, you have the clock lancet. I have report. And I also switched out my passes because I knew... She would be here, so I want that glorious, glorious clover. Never seen like a Melta Bomb. It's kind of weird because Melta Bomb in War Dawn of War 2 is actually a throwable. And it sticks to the target. It's actually a point and click ability. Well, a frag grenade. And plasma grenade from Eldar and Worms of the Omnissiah are all round targets. Does anyone else have a grenade? Uh, well, sword troopers have frag. Scout also has frag. Guardians have plasma. Stormtroopers also have melta. Uh... Oh, right, there's a like blind grenade for assault marines, which never ever gets used because it only targets the building cover. There are the garrisons and Garrisons basically never get used in the tier two when you can actually get the upgrade. Like I've watched quite a few of Indrid Cast's videos, like probably over a hundred of them, hundreds of them. In fact, very fun time to come back to. I think I could count on one hand the amount of times I've seen the blind grenade been used once. Once ever. Maybe twice, but I know once for sure. Because even Indrid was mystified by it. It is not used often. It's definitely the rarest single event in the game. The second rarest is the Sentinel surviving a 3v3. And I think I talked about this at some point, but... Uh, 
Imper there's six factions in Dawn of War 2 Retribution. The Imperial Guard is one of them, and they have the only Tier 1 vehicle in the game. Uh, but it doesn't get vehicle armor, which otherwise makes it immune to most small arms fire. It can be shot down by your basic pierce and damage. And the guard sort of really, really absolutely need it, because it stops melee from just rushing and annihilating the poor guardsmen. But the problem is, in the big 333 things, it being a vehicle and not having the vehicle armor means it basically dies instantly once it gets to tier 2 or tier 3. I'm not kidding when I say this thing actually serving a match is one of the rarest things in the game. Because in order to balance... Vehicles in Dawn of War 2 actually have very few hit points compared to infantry. Uh, tank actually has less, usually less armor than like the pansy ass guardsman squad. But they make up for it by basically being immune to most projectiles. And in response, a rocket, a missile launcher will do heavy damage to it. But a missile launcher has a really hard time actually hitting infantry. So the 100 damage the missile launcher does might want to hit infantry, but it's almost never going to hit. But it takes off a good fifth of that tank health. And that's just how they balance it. There's, of course, different intricacies to this. But the thing is, the Sentinel... It's a vehicle. Without vehicle armor. So that means it gets hit for the full accuracy of a missile launcher. And it's not very durable. And on top of that, it can also be targeted by certain vehicle-only abilities, like a Melt-A-Bomb being thrown on it. And a Melt-A-Bomb slows if it explodes on you. If a last cannon hits you, you also get slowed. So, it's almost impossible for a Sentinel to actually, you know, survive in a big 3v3 with so much damage going about. It's still essential for Guard to do really anything. Uh, they have an AoE stomp ability that prevents, that stuns and knocks back things. Does damage. And Guard need that so their pathetic Guardsmen don't get wiped out by any basic melee squad. Man, now I'm all flummy. Hmm. Oh, Matara's beating her Hellbrute. And she actually did the execute. I think, like, everyone otherwise used the gun strike to finish it. I know Ko did for sure. I can't remember Callie. I don't think I was watching Scarlet at that moment. Well, that's what it is. Man, that's a... Yeah, that's a natural heart... Man, my throat is a throatin'. That's nine. Fifteen. That's twenty-four more more minutes to go. I want to hold your hand. No, you're not. You're not paying attention to anything. Alright, that's one of them flipped over. A four. I don't know why it's four. I also don't know why there's no missions for Decimus and Talassa to get the other points. Maybe because it'd be too similar? Maybe they couldn't come up with anything interesting? Yeah, I mean, it's not a particularly long section, but it's not like the ops in the main campaign are one-to-one -one with time. Or you can be. Guardian Relic. So Dawn of War 2 is actually, Retribution has actually still got a mildly active mod scene, or PvP scene, boosted up by a very consistent mod support over the years. I think it's actually been longer with the mod than without the mod that Indrid Cast has been casted. Hey yo. Still a nice consistent amount of use for the fella too, which is neat. Wait, didn't he apply Space Marine 2? Maybe I should watch that. Comment on that. Oh man, she didn't see Valtus annihilate. Hellbrute. 
What is? Yeah, okay, she's really on the checkpoint. See it all in its glory. Break through the wall. He's also t blatantly taller. Yeah, Halbert is based off the old dreadnought pattern. Well, Van Beltus, Vantus. Hey, there's my BFC. It's odd that he isn't named, considering he's got, frankly, more lines than like Rodan or Amarius or even, well, Namoa definitely deserved a name. A lot of the other guys didn't. Heck, if the Ops Dreadnought is him, which probably shouldn't be considering the weirdness of the timetable. Oh, there's emergency meeting and some ghosting. Alright, need to wait till that's maxed out. They're all maxed out. Wait, how did this distribution of passives come about? That's very odd, huh? Oh wait, can you get... You have to be able to get double... I mean, you can get Sephiroth, but can you get the double big shuriken blast? Break Magnus. Granted, that Magnus would break him like a Kit Kat bar. Primarchs are quite expensive and very strong, as one would ex expect. I mean, they lose against the Titan, but there's very little that wins against the Titan. Oh, goody. I'm close to getting my thing. Then I can run all these and get Super Candy Box 2 Turbo. Dreadnought's in Dawn of War 2 2. In two forms. Not remotely as weapon heavy as Valtus there. Also, Vampire Survivors exist. And a Candy Box 2 Turbo. For her. Well. That happened. Well, double multi stage missile, I guess. Missiles everywhere. Oh, no. Oh, Greatest Jubilee, what? Greatest Jubilee, what? If only I had stepped in a slightly different order. Well, let's get everyone uh, nice and healed. And missiles everywhere. We got multi-multi-stage missiles. We got multi-multi-stage missiles. Baltus. Baltus. Eldrake. <laughs> she missed it getting statue beamed. <laughs> Vaultas. And then it's time to twist the tower with Cheron. Robo hand. Go Robo hand. Well, also one of the reasons Cool Man might actually look, you know, not like a scarred man. Man is because of the intricate psychic abilities to make them be perceived that way. God, double natural. And, you know, also Primark super healing powers. Just somehow don't get uh, fixed by Ergorn. 
And Gorn. Aragorn. Aragorn. The world eater, Primarch. The angry guy with the brain nails. Probably the biggest and dumbest mistake the Emperor ever had. Yes, I will not save all these other dudes. And I will save the tech guys or whatnot. Hey there. Also, now that I think about it, it's kind of funny that Rogel Dorn is originally the Emperor's Praetorian. But now it's altar means that have all the Greek Roman inspired stuff. Well, the Praetorians were the original. And then the Imperial Fists are there. I mean, there's someone's favorite chapter. Boy, do they not get much in play right now. Altar means everywhere, sure. The uh, Dark Angels, they've had their own really in depth plot line with Cypher and the Fallen for a while. And the lion's up. Space wolves? Because they're spice wolves. Uh, heck, even the salamanders, just because they're nonsense. Immediately, go straight to Ops. Then the rest of the legions are noticeably less popular. Iron Hands, Imperial Fists, Raven Guard. Oh no, Blood Angels are pretty popular too. And the White Scar, so poor White Scars, and Salamander's kind of in the middle. Oh yeah, auto changing your guns for warpy nonsense. How unfortunate. Oh, so close to the end of the inlay library. So very close. Yeah, that's gonna be so many. Oh. Oh, uh, there must be some sort of an immaterial plane. But well, she's in the end game now. The end of the end game. Ow, hiccup. And I can rest my voice for. Not long enough. <laughs> uh. Boy, was this a bad idea week. But, well, how every day is a bad idea week with me. Probably gonna... Well, I have to cut it short on Saturday. Oh, maybe like just a few ups. Well, no, I'm gonna have to wake... I'm gonna wake up super early on Saturday. Because I'm gonna crash immediately after I finish... The marathon, yeah, that's the word I meant to say. Yeah, I still have no good nicknames. A shield of your hatred. Wash your hands, woman your bloody hands. Well, not bloody. Your pee hands. Ugh. No wonder you can't find a husband. There we go. 9-6. Wow, really? Eesh, the BFC did nothing. And time. Prism last? Oh, Martha stage missile. Wait, what the hell? Why well, I think there were five there. Also, what the hell, man? Newt, 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 newt. And the final part of this video comes to the fore with Queen Sigma. Leading Colonel Bahamut, who's the real character last year. Random, because why not? And gains Aerith words. Look, I'm really tired. I'm just sort of going at it as I can. Take it out of here. Let's get that empty tome right away. And everything else, because why not? 
I don't need it on Queen Sigma. Anyway, I am listening to Matara Khan of V Shoujo, V Tuber, Roach Woman. Play some Warhammer 40k, Space Marine 2. She is at the final boss fight. Woo. Colonel, where you go? Wow, even the Queen can't stand up to that much damage. Oh, what I run into? Oh, eventually it'll be fine. Also, I got... This means I can concentrate all the XP on getting the Empty Tome up. No soul solution, though. Random's also here. And about to die. Man, that's a lot of science rocks. Science rocks! Damage is high, but not incredible. Colonel. Slowly doing this around. Fight him with Sigma, damage him with Bahamut. There we go. And somehow I actually managed to accomplish that. I don't know why. It doesn't make sense, but I did. Alright, you can come over here, protect the coffin. Random can move over. And I'll just have Sigma with her giant move speed. Okay, yeah, I think Sigma messes with the Bolero correctly. That feels like it should have been an Arcana Goblin chest. Why does it feel like she's moving slower for some reason? Take forever! Amora! Amora! Oh, in case it's not obvious, uh, whenever I get to just like one or... I'm just gonna fill up the empty spaces of whoever's left, because Bahamut's literally the last one Samuna's already beaten it. And, should have been obvious with Samuna last time, but hey, need to say it sometimes. For the Primarch! For Guleman! Uh, the High Lords of Terror actually tried to perform a coup on Guleman. Wow, what a terrible idea that was. Like, do they really, really ever think they wouldn't immediately result in all the Space Marines immediately coming to kill them? And all the Ultramarines in their successor chapters by default. And probably every other one, except like the very jerky ones. And definitely all the founding chapters. Oh, and also... Da -da -da -da. Other nonsense. Yes, yeah, Dark Angels nonsense. So a short that crossed my dash somewhere recently was about the oldest loyalist space marine from the Horus Heresy, not in the Dreadnought, which is Bjorn. Who knew Lehman Ross personally it was totally his best bro. It was just the uh, one that would be kept alive in a ship since the Heresy on Ishtavan 5, where the Chaos Space Marines Massacred their loyalist brothers in a traitorous ambush backstab. Yeah, Mora fight. M -m -m Mora fight. So, anyway, uh, that Marine was super old, 10k. He couldn't do anything, but hey, he was there. And that was the oldest Space Marine. Otherwise, it's Dante. Or non chaos space marine. Except that's not true either, because the Dark Angels have a bunch of heresy era fallen that are, well, loyalists that are still there. Where are they? I don't know. They're sort of. I mean, I suppose we'll finally have the answer to that whole thing about the, about the Dark Angels and their own civil war, kind of, maybe. Uh, with half remaining loyal, half going to chaos, or there being some weird thing going on otherwise. Most importantly, there's this dude named Cypher who was definitely from that time. 
And he's got Lionel Johnson's sword. But Lionel is out looking for fallen and talking about dudes. Because it's all very complicated and they totally have a plot and they're not just winging it. Like I'm winging this commentary talking about random nonsense at all the points in time. Look at all them science rocks. Science and rocky. Wait, is Muhammad actually faster than Queen Sigma? 90. 60. Yeah, he is. He's actually faster than her. I don't even have wings on. It is what it is. Whatever. Speaking of whatever, Squall Leonhart. Or a Lionheart. Because that kanji can be read like six different ways. And that's why he's Leon in Kingdom Hearts. Because that's the kanji. Uh, yeah, it can be read six different ways because of that whole Japanese LR thing. So it can be read as... R-Y, L-Y, R-I, L-Y, or I... L-I-L-E-L-Y, or R-E-R-I-R-Y. So you can get six different words out of one kanji. And that's why I incidentally know it's Leon's. Because Leon is the name of a character in Sukaden 5. Weird, isn't it? Hey, merchant. How's it going? Oh, wait. I have big fuzzy fists. I don't need to move anymore. I mean, I barely need to move. Oh. Why are your arms sweaty? Hands I get. Why are your arms sweaty? Hits I get. Why are your arms sweaty? Are you in front of a heater? Uh-oh, lower change. Go for the eye. Shoot its eye. What is? What do you think shoot its eye means? Yes. It's pretty self-explanatory what go for the eyes means. Oh, manga. Today. Yesterday. Uh, let's see. Uh, fixer? Ghost core fixers? From the guy who did summertime rendering. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't have as strong a hook as Summertime Rendering did. That one I was really interested in pretty quick because it got to the hook pretty nicely. This one, you know, it has its things, but it's more generic in premise compared to Summertime Rendering, I guess. Or at the very least, the hook for Summertime Rendering's premise came across as much better. Even if it had obviously been sort of done before. You're not a Chad. You're a Jordan. Can you make a head out of Jordan? See, the funny thing, when I first heard the Chad meme, is I, well, didn't really think about Chad the Country, because who does? I thought about Chad from Friday the 13th, because that's when it first started coming in. He was the annoying preppy guy, and people really loved uh, role-playing him as the annoying preppy guy when they played the game. Now, and for those of you who don't know about the Friday the 13th game, the reason it was never updated anymore... It's because of rights garbage. Rights garbage, rights garbage, rights garbage. Wow. What? Uh, I guess just get Crystal Cries. It'll never really accomplish anything, but it's funny. I can make Colonel Bahamut have more health or something. Oh, halfway through. My nightmare comes ever closer to ending. Well, now you do. I mean, at least it's not Sekiro where it's all parry all the time. Sweaty hands make sense. Even if you're keeping in a loosey-goosey grip, 
You're gonna be doing actions that require exertion. Wait, what? You're not maxed out? That's odd. Shoot the eyeball! Wow, you aren't maxed out at all at 17. That's odd. Brother, I am pinned here. Ah. Go down. It is the Bane Blade! Go, 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 Bane Blade! Go, 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 Bane Blade! Go, 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 Bane Blade! Foolish feeble. Ah, I can't remember after that. I can't even get the tone for the feeble and the, uh, the Bane Blade thing, but that's also done in chorus anyway. God, that was so weird. I have no idea. I don't even remember why. No, no, I remember it was a... Uh... I was looking up Bane Blade for something and got linked from a page about Bane Blades. Thus it is the Bane Blade. It's the Imperial Super Unit. Imperial Guard Super Unit in Dawn War II Retribution. In comparison with the Land Raider, it's a big super heavy tank that has a lot of damage. Some crowd control. Extraordinarily weak against melee, like basically all the Imperial Guard stuff. And you know, it's really hard at that point to protect it. Late game. It'll beat up any other tank. And it can counter most ranged anti-tank, but melee anti-tank, it's gonna uh, usually get beaten up. Anti-vehicle. Speak the word to be slain for a traitor. What a good line. Now, break Amura. Oh yeah, it says that right there, that it's not the warp, it's Amura's domain. Huh. Well, I mean, I suppose it can be clear, but hey, that's one line. I miss a lot of stuff too, like what's going on on screen. I mean, we were just talking about Chad. More chess, more. Every game has a theory mechanic these days. Not so many. I mean, this is a third person shooter, it has a theory mechanic in it now. Well, I guess, I suppose. Resident Evil Remake 4. I did not particularly enjoy Remake 4, I don't know. Tell me about it felt well or weird. I really enjoyed Remake 2, though. God, we're gonna get Remake 4. Five. We might even get remake of remake. What a we and with that, another huge chunk of Vampire Survivors Beswick is complete. I don't know the exact number, but it's 1,419, so that's 25. I shouldn't. Five. That is. How does it match up with these numbers? Oh man, I messed up somewhere. I probably. Seven. Yeah, no, it's 25. It is 25. Correctly. Man, I've lost track of math. Oh, boy. Okay, so yeah, it's 1,419 down. 536 to go. Almost out of the 500s. Next time, it's not going to help. But eventually, Capella Magnet. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun through this long, long nightmare. Please like, dislike, comment, or subscribe if you haven't, and thanks to anyone who has. I hope everyone has a good day and you keep messing around in the Vampire Survivors Beswick. We're going to get through this eventually.